when we are measuring the distance around the outside of a circle, uh, there are a couple of ways to do that. One way you might be familiar with would be angles. So let's say we started here and we went this far around the circle. This would give us an angle here of 90 degrees. And so the arc length here would also be 90 degrees. So from here to here, 90 degrees of angle. If we went another 90 degrees, we'd be on the opposite side of the circle. That's 180. Another 90 degrees, we'd have 270. And another 90 degrees, we, that'd be 360. That'd be back where we started. So 360 and 0 degrees are the same thing. There's another way to measure the distance around a circle, too, and that's called radians or radian measure. And this is based on what we call the unit circle. And you'll be seeing this a lot as you uh, study trig. The unit circle is just a circle with a radius of one, uh, one unit. So that's why it's called the unit circle. And radian measure is really just the circumference of the unit circle. So, uh, you know, the circumference, the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. The radius here is 1, so the circumference of the circle is just 2 times pi times 1, which is just 2 pi. So that means all the way around is 2 pi units, which means halfway around would be pi. A quarter of the way would, around would be pi over 2. Three quarters of the way around would be 3 pi over 2. And this is either 0 or 2 pi. So those are the two systems, angles, degrees, and um, the radian measures. In these problems, we need to convert back and forth between them. And we can do this in a couple of ways. One is just to, to plot this on the circle and see what we've got. Here we've got negative 5 pi over 2 radians. Well, the negative means that instead of going counterclockwise, we go clockwise. And 5 pi over 2, well, 4 pi over 2, so this equals a negative 4 pi over 2, which is negative 2 pi, minus 1 more pi over 2. So basically what we're doing is going backwards a full unit around the circle and then 1 more pi over 2, which would bring us right here. So this would be, well, we'd have a negative 360 degrees and then a negative 90 more degrees and we'd get a negative 450 degrees. The other way to do this is with a simple formula. Uh, you know, since 180 degrees equals pi in radians, one degree equals pi over 180 radians, and one radian equals 180 over pi degrees. So in this case, we'd use this formula right here. So if we wanted to know radians, we'd take the 5, sorry, if we wanted to know degrees from radians, we'd take the negative 5 pi over 2, and we would multiply that by 180 over pi. Now, when you're converting from radians to degrees, you should notice that the pi's will cancel. So that's that part's nice. And then here we've got 180 over 2. I could cancel that and make this 90. We've got negative 5 times 90, and we get negative 450 degrees. So our answer's matched there. That's good. Let's try going the other way. Here we have 720 degrees. Well, 720 degrees, let's see, if we're going, and this is positive, so we're going counterclockwise, we would go all the way around, we'd get to 360, and then we'd go all the way around again, we'd get to 720. So 720 is twice around the circle. Once around the circle is 2 pi, so twice around the circle should be 4 pi. But let's try it with this formula here, where we convert degrees into radians. So we're just going to take our 720 degrees and multiply by pi over 180. And 720 divided by 180, that's 4. So yes, this does indeed come out to be 4 pi. So that's a little bit of work with the unit circle and radian measure and how to convert between degrees and radians.